Oh, look at the bags under my eyes. It's been a long week. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Don't mind the bags under my eyes. I literally woke up not too long ago and I am still a bit tired. It's been a really long week, but a lot of you guys did comment about wanting me to do an updated makeup kind of routine video thing so i'm not a makeup beauty content creator so i'm not going to give you angles and do this um the reason why is because i'm just not anymore <laughs> i used to be i started out as one but i am not anymore and so what you're gonna get is this this is what you're gonna get my mirror is right here can you see it this is what you're gonna get and um the whole point of it was to actually do an updated q a video as well so i've got questions i'm going to do my makeup while you watch i'll be answering questions and having water it's another video thank you as always so much for choosing me over and over and over again i am going to be putting a face on because i'm going to record another video after this and i put down a in my community tab i said to you guys that i'm going to be filming a makeup routine video updated makeup routine video but let's make it a q a as well and a lot of you guys came through with the questions you came through with all the things chair so that's that's great so i will be showing you what i use because i think that chances are you would want to see what i use right okay normally what i do is uh when i do my makeup i start off with my brows i always start off with my brows and i'm going to show you all of that what i use for my brows what i use for my everyday this is so weird i haven't done a video like this in such a long time so bear with me okay editing this is going to be a nightmare for me i can already tell you right now it's going to be a nightmare um anyway so the two brow products that i use the main one that i use is the brow ultra slim and this this is what it looks like this is the brow ultra slim by maybelline but it's currently finished i have a fresh one upstairs i'm not going to go get one upstairs but one that i have been using recently is the quick face defining brow pencil and this is from mr price i think from that range with the tabete sisters i actually really like it it works pretty well it does what it needs to do it's not clunky or anything like that so i'm gonna start with my brows if i'm looking over there you know what it is here we go all right so the first question is by mahoto and mahoto says what are your favorite winter staples in terms of clothes what can you absolutely not do without girl <laughs> it's almost like i don't know maybe if you guys may have uh picked up but for me winter is my favorite season and my birthday is in the winter months if you are somebody who is not living in the southern hemisphere you'll be like what what do you mean what do you mean? What do you mean winter is in June? Yes. <laughs> um, so for me, winter is my favorite month, uh, ugh, season. And I absolutely love, love, love winter. It's, it's a fave. So for me, yes, there's always going to be staples that I, th that are mandatory, okay, for me when it comes to clothes. So first things first, the staple that I absolutely, absolutely cannot do without are thermal vests we're gonna start inside okay thermal vests i definitely cannot do without and then we've got as well um turtlenecks i love love turtlenecks i've shot a lot of content with my turtlenecks that i love from witchery i buy them all the time and i will get doubles if i really like a turtleneck with a black or gray or white or navy which is the staple colors that i go for especially in winter uh, also in summer but especially in winter i will buy doubles of those so polo neck polo neck my love yes yes um so for me uh, turtlenecks are definitely a staple in my winter wardrobe love them coats are a staple <laughs> i mean have you watched any of my contents whether on uh instagram or whether on um what do you call this instagram tiktok 
YouTube. In winter, I will always, always, always rock a coat. I, it, it's, it's, it's just, we're not even going to talk about it. I will always, always rock a coat. Um, so for me, I definitely love me a good coat in winter. Boots, definitely. Ankle boots, uh, heeled boots, uh, Chelsea boots, anything like that. Yes, love them in different colors, mostly black, black, gray, or even white. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling into the white or cream kind of boots, but I absolutely love me a good winter boot. Okay. <laughs> you guys must have seen it. This is nothing new. If, if you've been following me for a while, I think you will know that I prefer my uh, winter wardrobe as opposed to my summer wardrobe. I just don't care for summer, okay? So typically what I will follow with afterwards, this is an old one because I think they've changed the packaging to this. Uh, typically I'll follow with the Super Stay full coverage under eye concealer, but I put it around my, because this one is, is dark to be an under eye concealer. This is from Maybelline and it's in 40 caramel. That's what it looks like. That's it. That's what it looks like. And uh, I'll typically just outline my brows with this. I, I like neat brows. I don't like my brows to look like they, they're some kind of crazy. That's just, that's nah, nah. I know that there was a trend where, you know, people were making them quite bushy and, you know, brushing them up and all of that. I was just like, nah, man, I'm not, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna jump into that trend, man. That's that's not for me. My legs are going to sleep. I'm literally sitting on my knees. Um, but yeah, those are the winter staples for me that are absolutely standard, absolutely mandatory. I will not do anything. I will not feel comfortable if I do not have those in my uh, winter wardrobe. So I'll typically just pull it further down so that I can prepare my eye for uh, eyeshadow, okay? Here's another thing. The guys who are doing the garden are here today. So at some point I might need to pause this. <laughs> at some point I might need to pause this and they're here but the guys that are doing my garden are outside so I'm going to pause this for the next 5-10 minutes um, what I do is I then drag the concealer pretty much all over my eye around my eye very lightly because I don't like it when concealer creases so very lightly around my eye like so and same around this side and just tap it in just so that it gets in between all those fine lines but a, a very light light consistency now that i've done my brows i typically then move on to foundation and foundation is where i do not skimp on foundation i always make sure that i get the best foundation a foundation that works for me a foundation that i know is gonna stay all day and for me that foundation is this 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 this, this, this. <laughs> that foundation is one of my favorite foundations. So I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and this is in Rich Caramel. I don't know why I'm keeping it in the box, to be honest. This is 5W2 Rich Caramel. Absolutely love it. I still haven't bought a pump for this, but you know what? Be like that sometimes. I'll buy one whenever I get the chance to pop into a counter. Yeah, Estee Lauder. But I put a little bit of it onto my hand. I haven't really done makeup videos in a really long time where I'm speaking, so this is really weird. Okay, while I'm at it, let's answer another question, shall we? Uh, time management tips or tools that you use considering the multiple roles that you have. Let me tell you something. When you have multiple roles like myself, time management is your best friend. You need to know when you are doing what, how you're doing it. And for me, calendars are really, really a huge thing. I'm big on calendars like Google Calendar or um, what do we call this? 
apps like notion the notion app is really really great and i've started using that so i typically blend my foundation in with a beauty blender and this is a light one so ugh, i hate how dirty they get how brown they look from white to being brown um so yes for me definitely managing time is to make sure that you know what you are doing and when so for instance with youtube i will record content multiple content pieces in one day and in that same day i'll be recording uh reels maybe even for the life by design page or things like that i need to manage my schedule in such a way that i know when i'm busy and when i'm not this week has been a very very busy week for me so i had to make sure that i know is my mic okay yeah mic is fine um i had to make sure that i know exactly what i'm doing and when it's really really important to have days where you know that you're recording today days where you know that you're editing uh for me editing i typically leave for the weekends or late in the evening when i come back from work i'll take a break from the day and then just before i go to bed i'll maybe just edit a video or two and then call it a day um time management you need to be very very self-aware and you have to have a lot of discipline when it comes to what you want to do when you're going to do it but having a schedule as well is your best friend so for me having calendars schedules this is what i'm going to do this is when i'm going to do it sometimes i wake up like today sometimes i wake up not feeling like i want to record content it happens a lot <laughs> i typically just put a little bit of foundation on my lips as well it happens just so that because my lips are typically you see now i'm i'm a blank canvas now i'm just agna <laughs> yeah so for for managing time i think the most biggest thing that you can do a solid service that you can do yourself is to be disciplined have a schedule know when you are doing what and stick to your story there are certain days where i wake up and i don't feel like recording like today is not it's not a day where i feel like recording because it seems like everything went left from the morning the power went it's cold it's not the warmest in the house today and all of this but then i thought to myself you know what i'm going to do it anyway i'm going to do it anyway push beyond so that I have a lot of content that's sitting. I would rather have content that's sitting than content that is uh uh no content at all basically. So don't leave things to the last minute. Procrastination is the biggest 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 detractor of success. I can tell you that right now. Don't procrastinate. Just do it. So that I will follow with uh a little bit of uh, eyeshadow and for me it's always just one color and today we'll do the eyeshadow that everybody seemed to love so so much which is from this palette right here this is the nubian 2 by juvia's place i've had this palette for years this is one thing that i love about eyeshadows is that you can like glitch it just works it just works so i'm going to go in with morocco which is this orange color up here and then i just pretty much but there's all that all over my eye. Juvia's place is amazing at how creamy the uh eyeshadows are. They just blend so so well. So I dabble that over my eye like so. What are the hard things you do to be where you are or to achieve your goals? I don't sleep. <laughs> And I wouldn't even go as far as saying that I've achieved my goals. I just don't sleep. I work really really hard. Uh sometimes you can work hard but not see the fruits of your labor, which is what I feel like uh YouTube has become that kind of place and space for me. I'm working really really hard but I just don't see the fruits of my labor. And for me that's just very uh it's disheartening. It really is disheartening, but I do it because I love it and I do it because I want to look back on this one day, the day that I decide to stop doing YouTube. I want to be able to look back on this and say, "Wow. I wow. When I was 30, this is what I did. When I was 32, this is what I did. This is what I was going through, all of that." But also 
to just share, you know, parts of my life and all of that. So for me, it, it, it genuinely boils down to one thing. I just work really, really hard. I put all my energy and effort into the work that I do. Um, and I give it my best shot. And I think at the end of the day, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. You just need to give it your best, your best, best shot. Okay. So just, just do it. It doesn't matter who says what, when they say it, how they say it, all of that. It doesn't matter. And then on my eyelid, just a little bit like, um, halfway, uh, on my lid, I'm going to go in with Nairobi, which is a lighter color here. And it's got a bit of sparkle as well, which I really love. This is the eye look that had everybody go, wow, your eye makeup is so nice. And for me, eye makeup is not my best. I think I'm really good with uh, foundation, but eye makeup I'm terrible at. I think they're back again. They're going to do one more thing and then they're going to disappear again i know them i know these gents so yeah just work hard man when you want to achieve your goals just know that work is part and parcel of the process you need to just work hard sometimes it might seem like you're not seeing the fruits of your labor or you're not really seeing where you're going or you might feel a little bit lost and all of that but just continue to push it really does go a long way especially when it's with something that you love and that's something that really matters to you a lot a lot uh back to Mahoto who says how are you having fun at the moment what are the things that you are loving that bring joy just because oh, girl that is a fantastic question. Uh, how am I having fun at the moment? Going in with concealer. Now, this is what I use to brighten up the under eye. And this is Maybelline 30 hour concealer. Concealer. Yeah. And it's in the shade 30, which is 30. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I think it's either honey or just a, a, a lighter shade to the one that I was using on my brows. So I just go in a little bit there and here, just a little bit, and then we blend. That's, 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 that's all. Um, so some of the fun things that I'm doing at the moment oh, that I absolutely love is spending time with the people that I love. So if you watch this channel consistently, you'll know that I went through a huge period of self-isolation yeah i can see the gardener he's outside my window i went through a huge period of self-isolation so i spent a lot of time alone i spent a lot of time by myself i didn't go out uh, so now i'm actually starting to enjoy going out not only with other people but i'm also starting to enjoy going out by myself going out and for a movie going out to a bookstore a coffee shop and actually just enjoying myself while i'm out there i absolutely i just i just love it so much i'm eating that shit up i genuinely am and that's this is literally all i do this is literally all i do with the concealer that's literally all i do and then immediately to set it after that, I follow with my two powders that I use to settle, to set. And one is the Fit Me Matte Poreless uh, Powder. And the lid broke off. So it's considerably lighter. It's in 128, which is warm nude. And then the other one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I mix them together. So it's slightly darker. And this one is in caramel 30. So I dip in here and then I dip in there and then I place on my eye. Um, the baking process I will do not too often, but I'll, I'll do it if I, if I feel like I have time and I really want to beat my face to the gods, I will do it. Um, but yeah, one of the things that I do, I, I, I cook in the house, I dance, I listen to music, I eat good food. Um, your good sis has kind of gained a bit of weight, you know, but n not much. It's like a, a kilo or two. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I don't check anymore. I think I'm at that stage in my life where I'm quite happy with my body 
for my age, I'm quite happy with my body where I'm at. As you can see, it's lightened up the area below my eyes, which is, which is what we're going for, basically. That's what we're going for, sister. And I put it quite lightly underneath because, again, it's something that I am avoiding, creasing. I don't like creasing at all. I really don't like creasing at all, okay? So we're just going to we place on like so. Place on the top as well, like so. My nose, like so. Love it. So yep. I go out, as you saw in my last vlogs, I've been going out a lot. I've been attending events a lot. So I'm not declining events anymore, which is which is a big thing for me because I don't like attending events. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to be more present and be more, uh, you know, open to the outside world, outside of my house. Do I like it? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's, would you say you have an A-type personality or did you have to build your work ethic? Did you maybe have to build discipline and make sacrifices? If so, how did you do it? I do have an A-type personality. I like things done a certain way. I'm very, very particular about how I want things done. I'm very particular about my how I work through certain things. I'm very particular about how I like things to look in my home, how I like things to look on me, how I dress. I'm very particular about how I handle my friendships, relationships, very, very particular. My powder is the MAC Dark Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder. It's in dark. This one is finished. The, 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 it's almost finished. The... The other one is upstairs, but I'm not going to do that. So I just rub on it with my nail a little bit because there is still some powder, quite a bit of powder on there. So I am an A-type personality, but I did have to develop my... I did have to develop and work on my discipline skills. They were not where they are now. So now I'm quite disciplined about what I want, how I want it, and how I want it to uh, look or come across, whatever it may be. So I'm very, very disciplined. And it took knowing what it is you want for your life and what you want to achieve for your life to be able to introduce a lot of discipline into your life. Because if you do not have discipline it becomes really really hard to uh, do certain things you fall to procrastination you fall to laziness and all of that and for me that is something that's just it's never been a me thing man it's just sorry it's never really been a me thing so for me i make sure can you see those bags yes just, they're stressing me out they're stressing me out but it's fine it's fine. It's bags of no sleep and bags while you secure the bag. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> corny. It's corny. It's okay. Now it's, now it's just finished. Now I need to replenish it. But it's fine. It works for today. So yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite particular. And the discipline is just something. Discipline is something you harness over the years. You don't just wake up with discipline you have to work on it each and every single day you have to make sure that you foster discipline into your daily life if you don't chances are quite high that it's it's not going to turn out the way you want it to you know what i'm saying um, you're going to fall prey to laziness you're going to fall prey to all sorts of things if you do not encourage discipline in your life so make sure make sure um but i do i definitely do have an a-type personality i don't uh, i don't just go with the flow i don't just oh we'll see what happens no for me there must be a plan there must be discipline there must be um uh, i need to understand why are we doing what we're doing does it make sense to me and if it does then Okay. Also, what should a beginner user of makeup on, be on the lookout for when purchasing their first few items? What should those items naturally be? So typically everything that I'm using right now, K2 
okay eyeshadow is not really oh i'm now bronzing my face and to bronze my face i use the bobby brown bronzing powder in deep and it's also on its way out <laughs> but fortunately for me when i buy my makeup i buy it in doubles so i'll always have something uh i'll never i'm not one to run out of makeup and be like yo i'm out of bronzing powder no so this i typically just apply just below the apples of my cheeks so right where my face just kind of goes in like so is where i will apply bronzing powder if not sometimes i'll apply uh when i'm i still have cream on my face i'll apply the fenty mocha 03 matchsticks but i don't feel like it today so i actually just forgot and i skipped the step <laughs> But yeah, this is great because this is what brings back the color and definition on my face. But for a beginner makeup user, these products are not the exact products that I would recommend you use. Some of these are extremely expensive and you do not want to get uh, very expensive products if you are a beginner makeup user. I genuinely feel like you can walk into Dischem and you will come out with everything you need. You need foundation, you need concealer. Concealer is really great for hyperpigmentation. So you saw what I did earlier on. Concealer is really good for that. A bit of mascara, everything that I'm using now, you can pick up um, literally in a Maybelline counter. Maybelline has got a great selection of products. It's really, really good. They're reasonably priced compared to half the things that I'm using here. Maybelline, Revlon is also pretty solid. Yardley is a, a brand that I used to use a lot. And I think those are great when you are starting out. LA Girl, when you are starting out with makeup, do not go for the most expensive thing. Rather, up your makeup game in terms of higher quality or all of that kind of thing once you once you are secure and you know your makeup really well and you know what works for you but another thing that you do need to be aware of when you are a beginner user of makeup you need to know your skin type you definitely need to know your skin type you need to know whether you are a combination oily whether you're a dry whether you're a normal oily whatever they are you just need to know um, what works best for your skin type and make sure that you follow through on that so I'll also go in here for just a little bit around to contour my nose just have a little bit of darkness right here around my nose absolutely low mm -hmm. go underneath there as well what does one do when they feel stuck in terms of uh, in life and with no progress i think that's the moment where you need to reset right that's the moment where you need to reset you need to sit down with yourself so this is from mac again this is gold deposit i absolutely love it for around here it's really really great so i just dabble it onto my i don't like heavy highlight it's not my thing but i just dabble it onto the blush that i just put on so it's it just lightens the blush as well which is great but i think uh when that happens that's the moment where you need to do a hard hard reset of your life what is it that you want for your life what is it that what are your passions? What do you, why do you feel stuck? When you are thinking about your life, what aspects of your life make you feel stuck? You, you can't just say in life. In life what? In terms of family, in terms of profession, there's no work. What is it? And then I think after that, what you would need to do is kind of break down what exactly you would need to do in order to get some sort of movement going. You need to, the thing is, we all go through moments and times where life fluctuates, right? Where life will be good, then life will be bad, then life will be good again, then life will be bad, all of that. It fluctuates quite a bit. We all go through moments like that. However, what you can do is do a hard reset. When you feel like, okay, nothing seems to be coming together, nothing seems to be working, what should I be doing? Again, with gold deposit going into the inner corner of my eye. What should I be doing? No, I'm not. I cannot answer this guy right now. I cannot answer this guy right now. Why do I feel stuck? Which aspects and which parts of my life 
are the ones where I feel most stuck. And you need to actually do the work and be intentional. Write it down, right? Write down what it is, where it's happening in your life, where do you feel stuck. It's really, really important because you are not going to you can't expect somebody else to get you out of that rut. You are the only person that's going to be able to get yourself out of that rut. As an elder daughter, do you sometimes struggle with the deputy parent thing, being strict and ordering your siblings around? To be honest, not so much anymore. There was a point where I really, really did feel like I was struggling. There's something that I need to go in with now. This is an eyeliner. And because I'm going to be putting lashes on, I typically just do a line just above my uh, lash line just above my lash line i'll just do a line of black so that you don't have to see the space between where my real lashes are and my fake lashes begin okay just in case i make a mistake but typically i just do a line a simple line for me that was really really hard to manage as i think especially around the time when my sister was in her early 20s, uh, towards mid-20s, my sister's not there anymore. My sister's turning 30 this year, which is so great for her. I'm so happy and she's she hates it. <laughs> she hates it. Um, but I think it's just a matter of sometimes you need to let them go and you need to let them be. You need to let them make their own mistakes, especially when they are adults. When it comes to my younger sister, who's still in school and she's nine, she's turning 10 this year, it's fine for me to be a, a somewhat of a deputy parent and tell her, no, we're not going to get this. No, don't say that. Don't speak like that or try and reprimand her from time to time. I don't make it a point to be constantly reprimanding her. Her mom is around to do that for her. But then when I'm with her, her safety is my utmost concern. So if she disappears uh out of sight for me which never happens but if she disappears out of sight and all of that i need to be able to reprimand her and tell her that no i want you by my side all the time but with my grown-up uh siblings like naledi like um rifilwe my younger brother who's 20 21 this year i i don't make it a habit to be deputy parenting them because i feel like they need to learn life's they need to make mistakes to learn about life and to learn what's important when it comes to life and all of that. So I try not to deputy parent them. It's just not my job anymore. Um, so I've let that go. It was really difficult a couple of years ago. But for now, no, I'm just like, hey, bruh, I'm busy living my life. Okay, I'm busy trying to deal with my life at this point. Dealing with you and yours? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You can catch me several streets outside. Several streets outside. I think we're pretty much done. This is the point where I spray my Lasting Fix spray. I love the spray. I think it's so great. The only thing that I don't like about it, it does make your skin feel quite tight afterwards. And yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with that. I really, really do. Because I don't like my skin feeling tight. But guess it'd be like that sometimes. I need to put some eye patches on this evening because yo, I hate how my eye bags look. But it's fine. It's fine. We're okay. We're okay, baby girl. We're okay. Um, and then from this moment on, this is where I'm going to put on my lashes. One of the other questions was, uh, why don't you speak to, are you, where is Palisa? Do you not speak to Palisa anymore? Uh, Palisa and I are not friends anymore. Yes, we are not friends. Um, I'm not going to talk about why we're not friends, but we do not speak anymore. But we're cordial with each other when we see each other. I don't see her much. We live in opposite ends of the world and we don't really go to um, the same places. But when I do see her, there's a time when I did see her a while ago and I actually hung out with her and we had some drinks and we, we uh, I asked her to come through at Jameli. I spoke to her as well a couple of months ago. I uh, tried to call her and all of this and we spoke a little bit i think she was busy that night but we spoke a little bit over the phone but we are not yeah we're not friends like we used to be um life happened and that's okay too um I'm, i don't i'm not going to sit here and explain what happened but yeah 
but she's she's good is it by choice that you don't mention diesel when you talk anymore i miss seeing the smitten gutlo she made me smile it is by choice that i don't mention diesel anymore sorry sorry um hi there sis okay let me actually get let's let's put on these lashes shall we uh somebody said hi there sis hey girl i'd like to ask you if there's anything to do to maintain a good relationship with family friends and also at work very different spaces of your life however i will say that powder 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 being consistent with friends and family is really really important be present be there for big events be there for sad moments sad times be there for happy times as well um just show up for the people that you care for i think people have their own things going on right now so i'm just putting glue onto my lash people have their own things going on right now and you can't expect people to chase around after you i think it's very normal for people to just kind of move away from you if if you know your life is always about you and your problems and what you're going through and blah 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 <clears throat> and that you switch switch off when it comes a time where you need to be supportive of the people that care for you so i would say actively being present is a really good thing but also be emotionally aware and self-aware that people are people and they go through their own things and what is happening in their lives might not be happening in yours but you can't expect them to consist constantly be there and happy and kikiing and happy for you and all of this so my bags are pissing me off oh my god you can't always expect that from them um and that's normal that's 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 okay like you can't expect that kind of stuff from people but the one thing is to just be present the people who matter to you should know and feel like they matter to you and if they don't then what is the point right what is the point of any of it uh do not take everything too personally don't especially in the workspace do not take everything too personally because you are going you're going to get hurt if you do that you're really going to get hurt if you do that so don't take everything too personally um try to know that sometimes people are just going through their own thing and they need a moment and it's not always about you and that is okay it doesn't have to always be about you you know what i'm saying it doesn't have to always be about you well, i'm going to have to figure it out but it's fine I don't know how to explain putting on a lash guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't. Um the lashes that I use are the 124s I think by Ilure. Absolutely love them. But also emotional awareness is very very important in this regard as well. Emotional awareness and knowing how people are or how you react to people is is also very very important as well. mascara. So what I'm going to do is um underneath my real lashes are brown or orange because of the <laughs> the eye shadow. So what I do to blend in my real lashes to my fake lashes, I just uh put a bit of mascara right underneath it just to cover up that brown. And then underneath I'll typically go in before I used to have a black kajal liner and I would do but I don't do that anymore. I think it makes me look older when I do that now. But um just to go in on my bottom lashes with this just kind of highlights the eye, brings a lot of focus and attention to the eye, which is which is something I like. So but uh be self aware know exactly what it is that you want for the relationships that are in your life with your family and your friends if some relationships don't work out it's normal it's a part of life they won't work out but some will and the ones that do work out work on them show the people that are in your life that you care about them enough to that degree that you are willing to work on the relationship that they have so, so we're pretty much done with the makeup finally I am going to 
put on some lip product of course you guys know i love the maybelline 007 amber lifted gloss i absolutely love it it's my favorite i have it in droves and numbers i love it so much and then i'm going to be lining my lips with the smudge pencil in medium brown because for some reason i can't find my brown pencil from mac so we're gonna use smudge it looks a little bit like uh it looks a little bit like half red you guys are not going to see much of a difference here but it's fine i hope you guys enjoyed this uh version of my updated oh yes when the gloss goes on i'm a different woman i can tell you that for free when the gloss goes on i am the baddie that i think that i am because i'm not a baddie okay So, but I'm the baddie that I think that I am when the class goes on. So we love that. So that is my updated makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I showed you at least what you needed to know. If I am to answer, let's see, one last question. There were so many and they're so deep and in-depth and they require a lot of you know time to respond to each question. It wasn't just basic questions, which I would have loved, but... I know you guys want the deep stuff from me. Um, there are certain questions that I will not answer um, because I speak about them a lot in my membership space. So if you're not a member on the channel, maybe consider becoming one um, where you'll know certain burning questions, I guess. Um, but yes. What are your favorite scents? Yes, to end it off, what are my favorite scents? I'm big, big, big on scents. I don't remember half the scents that I love, but the ones that I do remember, then I will put them here and I will let you know what they are. The first one is my signature signature scent which is chanel number no. five i always have a bottle of chanel number no. five that is the scent that people know me by and my second signature scent is christian dior toba color toba color toba color <laughs> toba color and this one is uh one that my sister bought for me while she was overseas and i love it so much i barely use it but when i want to make a statement I will wear Toba color. I want to wear it today. Actually, I'm not planning on making a statement, to be honest, but I just want to wear it today because I just need a little something to make me feel good today. Um, I really love Armani Code, uh, C by Armani as well. Um, there is an amber, I'll put the bottle here. I've got it in my bedroom, but I forget what it's called. It's also by Armani. I love it. It's one of their more intense scents that are unisex. I love it so much. It's something ombre, ombre, something, something. It's got a very complicated French name, I think. I don't know. Um, another one that I love is uh, The One by, is that Gucci or Dolce & Gabbana? Dolce & Gabbana, The One. Love it so much. I have it upstairs. Uh, Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana is also a very, very big favorite of mine. Uh, the Zara scents for every day. I love the Amber one. Uh, the C Amber Infusion, Secret Infusion. I love those for every day because they fit nicely into my bag as well. They smell amazing. My sister put me onto those and I buy them just so that I can have them around. I don't normally wear my expensive perfumes every day. It's just not a thing that I do. Um, what else? Oh my goodness. I'm a big scent lover. So I'm trying to think what else I love. Uh, Tom Ford. I'm a very big uh, Tom Ford fan. Soleil Blanc is one of my favorites. Uh, Tobacco Vanille is another one of my favorites. Um, there's one that I... Uh, 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 mm, Narciso Rodriguez. Narciso Rodriguez. Ah, which one? What's it called? Uh, it's in the light pink bottle it makes me feel so ethereal when i wear it i'll put I'll, I'll put them up these are all the scents that i have in the house right now and i love them amongst others but i love 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 those ones and yeah i'm gonna end it there i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please like subscribe uh, comment let me know if there's anything that you would like to see anything else you would like to see if there isn't 
that's fine if there is please let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see thank you so much as always for choosing me over and over again until the next one have a great one and i'll talk to you very very soon until then ah, check bags and bye bye